Welcome back to John's Films. Do you have trouble exposing skin tones? I mean, I'm not saying that I ever do. Oh, wait. Okay, maybe I suck at it. Yeah. Well, let's figure out how to fix that. Skin tone isn't exactly what we're solving today. It's exposure. I have a tendency to blow out the highlights against my face and really mess things up in my shooting even before I get to my DaVinci Resolve editor. Now, you can use this tool in both your camera as well as in DaVinci Resolve. Of course, that's depending on if your camera has LUT display capability. However, let me show you how it works in DaVinci Resolve. In this case, I've shot some footage and it's not terribly exposed in the face, but I have to see how to set my skin tone into exposure and typically you're going to want that between 60 and 70 IRE, uh, which would be in this case 600 to 700 IRE, which is a uh, scale for determining luminance and brightness values against uh, any particular pixel. The challenge I've got though is which pixels are exactly my face. Of course I can qualify my skin tones out and see where it falls, or I have another option. I can use something called false color. False color gives me a direct mapping of where my skin tones lie and where every other pixel in the screen lies as well. Again, you can use this while you're shooting in camera if you can apply LUTs to your view. Now, great. So, John, you're showing me the brightness of each pixel. What color is what? Well, we're really lucky here because a guy named Ben has developed a false color LUT and a profile that you can use that maps directly to the Aperture False Color System. So if you look at this, what it tells me is the somewhere in this gray area, grayish, peachish, pinkish, in other words, I should not be in the yellows too much, um, is where my skin tones should lie. If I hit anything in bright red or in kind of dark blue, dark purple, that means I'm underexposed down here and overexposed up here, and I'll lose data on the elements that are in those colors. Now if we go back to Resolve and we turn on this false color LUT, this is the 50% LUT, which means it's only about halfway there. And uh, this one would be the 100%. So now you can see, yeah, I'm in the yellows pretty hard. I want to be out of the yellows and mostly in that grayish peachish area. So to fix that, what I'll do is one, I'm going to create a node, Alt-S, here, and I'm going to apply my LUT to it. There we go. And now I can see where I'm exposed and blown out. So what I'm going to do is grab another node here and I'm going to kill my qualifier. And I will change the exposure of this so that I can address the look here. All right. So I'm just going to lower. It looked like I was a little hot on my skin tone there getting better. You can see that the top end's kind of blown out, so I'm just going to pull down the top just a touch. And now we're in a much better range for my skin tones. Still got some whitish gray in there, and that's kind of where we want to live, so it tells me I need to pull my mids up a touch. Notice I can do the color grading directly here to see what it looks like, or I put it on a prior node, and then of course what I'm going to do when I get done is deactivate this node because I want to get my skin tones right. <laughs> I don't want to render out some crazy colors. Now you can find plenty of tutorials online. Um, these are made available by Ben for free. However, um, he does request, uh, if you download them, to consider at least giving him something. It's a pay what you want model. So he, he obviously developed this and it's a big help for us so if you do download them consider giving him a dollar or two here or there and he's got a pretty good breakdown of what they do um, I've loaded them into my GH5 and it's pretty cool um, I'm quite amazed by how well it works against the log profile that I shoot with in the brighter lights sometimes so this is how you can set your exposure properly in your while you're shooting as well as while you're editing um, skin tones will still be up to you, so uh, I'm not saying this is going to get fixed anytime soon, but I will do my best. Thanks for watching, and hope you have a great day.